watching our tutorial on how to send patient accounts to collections and collect payments on those accounts right from within PracticeWeb using the TSI interface. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use TransWorld Systems, or TSI, for patient collections, set up the TSI patient collections bridge, send patient accounts to TSI for collections, and manage TSI payments for accounts sent to collections. Let's get started. You can now send patient accounts to collections and collect payments on those accounts right from within Practice Web using the TSI interface. TSI stands for TransWorld Systems which is an industry-leading provider providing billing and collection services to dental practices. Once you're signed up for TSI collection services, you'll be able to directly send delinquent accounts to collections from the Manage module in PracticeWeb. Using TSI, you can refer to collections quickly and collect more reliably on your accounts receivable. Patients can either pay TSI directly or they can contact your office to make payments. Regardless of where the patient chooses to pay their bill, it will be reflected in the patient's balance in the account module. To use TSI services in PracticeWeb, you're going to need to sign up for collection services with TSI. If you click on the Manage module, then TSI Collections button, before you sign up for the services with them, it'll take you to this web page. You can fill in your practice's information and be contacted by a representative from TSI and get signed up. If you have already signed up, instead of the website, this button is going to take you to where you can manage your account. If you have questions about TSI's collections methods, pricing, or other products they offer, please don't hesitate to fill out the form and speak to a TSI representative directly. To set up TSI collections inside of PracticeWeb, the first thing we're going to need to do is set up a custom billing type for all accounts that are going to be sent to TSI. In the main menu, Click on Setup at the top of Practice Web and then click on Definitions. In the Definitions window, we're going to select Billing Types. Then click the Add button down at the bottom. Now we're going to enter the name to use for the billing type. We're just going to call it TSI Collections. This billing type is going to be automatically assigned to guarantors that have been sent to TSI. In the second box, we'll mark this billing type as the collections billing type by entering a capital C in the box on the right. Please note, do not assign the TSI collections billing type to any patient manually. If you manually set a patient's billing type to TSI collections, it will not initiate account management with TSI. So a delinquent account could fall through the cracks. Also, do not manually change a patient's billing type from the automatically assigned TSI billing type to something else. Manually changing the billing type is not going to stop or start TSI account management. Although, stopping patient payment accounts linking could result in duplicate yet different statements. So essentially, you want to have the TSI program bridge be the only thing that touches the custom billing type that we've just set up. We're going to close the screen and we're gonna go back to the Manage module. Another note to point out, when you're running your monthly billing statements in Practice Web, Click on the Billing button to send the statements to your patients. Here, in the Billing Options, you can select the billing types that you're generating statements for. We recommend 
that you do not send statements to TSI collections accounts. To exclude the TSI billing type that you've created, you can use the control key and highlight just the billing types that you would like to create statements for. You can click the Save Default button to save these preferences. By doing this, any accounts marked as TSI collections will not be receiving a statement directly from your office. To set up the program bridge itself, go to the Setup menu, then click on Program Links. Scroll down to the Trans World Systems Inc. program bridge. When you double left click on this, it will open it up and in the setup window, we're going to check the box at the top that says enable the bridge. Now check the boxes for the TSI services that you've signed up for. For this tutorial, we're just going to leave all three boxes checked. TSI will provide you with the server details and your client ID, and you'll enter that information in the fields below. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to enter our test information so that I can demonstrate the use of the bridge. If you want TSI to send a paid in full thank you letter when the patient has paid their balance, you can put a check mark in this box. The last drop box here is the paid in full billing type. As we discussed earlier, when you send a patient account to TSI, it's automatically going to change the billing type in the family module to the collections billing type that we created. Once the patient has completed their financial obligations and brought their account to current, TSI will let PracticeWeb know that the patient is no longer in collections and will change the patient's account type back to whatever billing type we have selected here. I'm going to leave it at standard account. Once you click OK, all our information for TSI is saved and the program bridge is enabled. To use the TSI collections through Practice Web, in the Manage module, click on the button marked TSI Collections. This is going to bring up the Accounts Receivable Manager. If necessary, Practice Web will run aging here. Guarantors that have a balance based on your account filter criteria at the top, those accounts will list on the Unsent Accounts tab. Any accounts that are highlighted in red indicate that there is something wrong with this account and it may prevent TSI from being able to collect. An example of those reasons may be that the guarantor may have an invalid birth date entered, or they're under the age of 18, or that they have an invalid address entered in their patient information. Generally, you shouldn't send red highlighted accounts to TSI. You can adjust the filter criteria that you're looking at at the top here, and you can save the filter criteria that you're currently using as default, so you don't have to constantly set it each time you're managing your delinquent accounts. Now we're going to highlight the guarantor that we'd like to send to TSI. I'm going to select this person here. You can also click the All button down here at the bottom to select all guarantors in the window. Um, you can click None to deselect. If you look towards the right of the screen, under Account Placement, you're going to select the type of TSI account you're going to send the patient to. Typically, the demand type is going to be Accelerator. TSI's Accelerator service will send gentle reminder letters to patients in your office's name that reminds them to pay their balance. This also allows your staff to focus on other duties. For more urgent, yet a still friendly approach, the Profit Recovery Service will contact your patients by phone on your behalf. This will prompt more delinquent debtors, and the TSI's Contingency Collection Service urges patients 
to make a payment before their accounts are charged off as a bad debt. For this example, we're going to select Accelerator, and now we're going to click Send to TSI. Any recommendations that the TSI server has for your accounts will display here. For today's tutorial, we're just going to hit yes and send this account to collections. Now the TSI collections billing type that we've created earlier will automatically be assigned to any account that you send to TSI. From that point, TSI is going to begin managing billing and collections activity on that account. If for some reason you want to stop collections efforts on a patient, you can come back to the TSI collections under manage and in the accounts receivable manager, click the sent accounts tab. You can select the patients that you wish to suspend from collections. Now under the account status updates at the bottom of your screen, we're going to select the new status drop-down box and select suspend. This will temporarily stop collections efforts on that account. Make sure to select the new billing type that you would like that account to have instead of the TSI collections billing type. Now hit update TSI. Now TSI will know that you don't want them to follow up on this account at the moment. If you return to the unsent accounts tab, you'll see that the patient that we have just taken off of the sent to collections tab once again appears in the unsent accounts list. But now the date and time that the account was suspended will show here on the right hand side. We're going to go ahead and send this patient back to collections so that we can show you how to make payments on TSI accounts. Now that TSI has been contacting patients and performing collections efforts on behalf of your practice, you'll start to receive payments on your TSI collections account. Payments can be made to TSI, or a guarantor may come in or call your office to pay you directly. When a payment is made to an account that is managed by TSI billing and collection services, regardless of where the payment's made, you'll simply enter the payment in practice web as normal, and it will affect the overall account balance. The information will automatically sync back to TSI. We do recommend creating a separate payment type, an adjustment type specific to TSI collections payments. To set this up, we're going to go to Setup and Definitions. Click on Payment Types, and click the Add button at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to call this payment type TSI Collections. The purpose of creating these different payment types and adjustment types is that you can see on your daily payments report how successful TSI Collections efforts are for your practice. Now we're going to create an adjustment type for TSI Collections. I'm going to make this a negative adjustment. So put a minus sign in the box here on the right. And now we can close the screen. Now that we've set up our payment and adjustment types for TSI collections, we're going to show you the two main payment types for TSI accounts. The first example is when the patient has paid TSI directly. TSI will send you a check minus their fee for collecting on your behalf. You'll want to enter a payment showing the funds that you're receiving from TSI. But then you're also going to want to make an adjustment on the patient's account to give the patient credit for the portion that TSI has withheld for their fee. We're currently in the patient's account that we want to enter a payment for. So we're going to hit the payment button. For patients that have the TSI billing type, this window is going to pop up. It gives you the option of indicating that, yes, this payment is directly from the debtor or guarantor, or no, the payment is coming from TSI. 
if you've received a check from TSI, then we're going to click on no. Enter the amount of the check that you're receiving from TSI. So in the payment type at the top, we're going to select the TSI payment type that we created previously, and we're going to click OK. Next, you'll want to create an adjustment on the patient's account so they can get credit for the portion that they paid to TSI. So you're going to click the adjustment button and in this window will pop up asking if it's an adjustment supplied by the office or if this is the result of a payment received from TSI. So in the event that you receive the check from TSI, just like we've entered, you're going to select no. Now enter in the adjustment amount, which is the amount of the fee withheld by TSI and select the TSI Collections Negative Adjustment Type. Now in the Patient's Ledger, you can see these two lines reflecting the payment from TSI and the adjustment for the TSI fees. The second kind of payment type that you'll be taking on TSI accounts is when the patient has been contacted by TSI, but they come into your office to make a payment on their delinquent account. To handle this type of payment, you'll want to enter the payment showing the total amount you're receiving from the patient. But then you're going to issue a payment to TSI from the patient's account. So this is going to cover the account management fees. To bring the account square again, you're going to make an adjustment to give the patient credit for the portion that you're sending to TSI for their fee. So when a patient pays the office, a message is automatically sent to TSI so they have a record of the payment. Then your office will send the agreed portion of the payment to TSI. So to show this in the patient's account, we're going to click on the payment button. And again, the following message will pop up. But now in this case, the payment is coming directly from the patient because they came into your office. So we're going to select yes. This will send a message to TSI about the payment. We're going to enter the payment full amount and complete the payment as usual. Make sure you select the TSI collections payment type. Now you can see the entire amount of the payment is going to be displayed in the ledger. Now we're going to enter TSI's portion of the payment that we're going to send back to them for their collections help. So we're going to click on the payment button again, and we're going to enter the amount that you're going to be sending to TSI for their fee. Now we're going to change the amount to negative in this screen because you're going to be sending TSI a check. So select the TSI Collections Payment Type and then click OK. This will display that you received a check from the patient in full. You can see that you're issuing a check to TSI to cover the collections efforts for this patient. And then lastly, because we're going to want the patient to get credit for the amount that they've paid, we're going to create an adjustment as well. So when you click on the adjustment button, enter the amount for the adjustment that you would like to subtract from the account and select the TSI collections adjustment type. Now click OK. This will now bring the account to square. This completes our overview of how to send patient accounts to collections and collect payments on those accounts right from within Practice Web using the TSI interface. If you have any questions about something that was not covered in this tutorial, please call support at 1-800-845-9379, option 2, or email us at support at practice-web.com.